Hi, my name is Jiwon Im. Um, I work for Cool Micro, and this is our Cool Plates products. So, so what do we see here? Um, here, you can see a Cool Plate for NVIDIA G200, GB200. Um, so, these are um, our unique manifold and microchannel based Cool Plates. Um, you can see we, we cover two GPU chips and one CPU chips at the same time. Um, so, the difference between our products and the competitors' products, um, we have a unique manifold microchannel design. So, what the manifold does, it basically um, distributes the water flow into the microchannel and it cools the chip uniformly. That's our key product. And we can set the flow rate lower and get the same performance with other, other competitors. And this is our live demo, actually, as you can see on the workstation. Yeah. Um, so this is our core cold plate. This is um, NVIDIA RTX 5090 right here. And this is our competitor's cold plate. Um, as you can see, um, we have the same condition, same power consumption, uh, same flow rate, same inlet temperature, but different results. Um, so what's the difference I see here? Um, so we got um, about to 15 to 20% 20, 20 difference of thermal resistance and four to five degrees of Celsius difference. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what do we see here? Um, this is IMC1, 2, and 3. Basically, everything you see here is IMC1. This is our manifold and microchannel structures design, and this is um, integrated cooling. So we're, we're gonna cool inside the package, and we'll get like four times more performance than any other cooling com com cooling company. Is it copper? Is it copper? It's IMC1 is copper. IMC2 is um, package level design. So package we're, level design. We're trying to cool from the package. From the package? Yeah. And what is this one? This is a thermal test vehicle. Um, this is for test on, um, test for cold plates. Like when you test other cold plate products or anything else, you need a test vehicle. So we have 37 points to get the, we have 27 points of sensor to get the temperature, and we're getting the temperature live, and we, we can heat up to 4.5 kilowatts. Um, so, so what do we see here? This is a, this is a whole loop. liquid. Yeah, this is a liquid fluent. So this is a whole loop, as you can see. Um, this is for workstations. Um, we're trying to be focused on the servers, actually. Yeah. And are you shipping? Shipping? Yeah, is it a new product or it's already mass production? Uh, it's a new product. We're on, a, we're on a prototype prototype level right now. And we're, trying, we're contacting to several different companies to get, like, collaborate. And, and here I see Discover the Innovation of Liquid Cooling Technology. Mm -hmm. What do we see here? Um, so it basically talks about what I just told you. So 40% down to thermal resistance. 25% up to computing speed. Um, Top-notch cooling. Yeah. So Compact size, mm -hmm. eco-friendly. Yeah. All right. Is it very expensive? Um, in long term, it's much Actually, cheaper. cheaper because you yeah. say, you yeah, say power, power, right? Yeah. So, all right. Cool. So we're here at the supercomputing event. You have a lot of discussions, a lot of people interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people interested. Like, AI is a whole different era right now. Like AI chips heat like crazy amount, and this is this is the perfect solution for AI era. Right and uh, liquid cooling is kind of like the most important thing mm -hmm. in the supercomputing world. Yeah, it is. It's like one of the big topics, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. So it's important to. And how do you design this? When you say it's uniform, it goes all over the place at the same time. Mm -hmm. What is a is it an invention or something specific you were able to do? It's kind of an invention and architecture collaborated. So, as you can see, there's this unique manifold design. So you can see the holes vertically, right? This is our ma manifold, and it goes through the manifold and it distributes the water through the manifold, and it goes side into the micro channel. That's the whole product and that's our pattern also. And what is the on the wafer behind? Wafer, this is a wafer level cooling. Uh, we're not into this process yet, but we're aiming to go to wafer level cooling. So what does that mean when you do wafer uh, that level means, cooling? Um, like we're gonna embed the cooling technology from the wafer level.
Yeah. So we can cool up to like eight times more than current um, cooling solutions. Does that mean that when you you fab out the chips, mm -hmm. you will fab out the cooling system at the same time? Yeah, yeah. On the chip? On the chip. So you you want to partner with the chip makers? Yeah. Like, to put your technology directly there? Um, we're thinking several different companies, but like it's hard to tell like specific companies right now. Yeah. All right, so there's a lot of talk. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. OK, cool. you're from Korea, right? Yeah, we're, we're based on Korea, and we also have an R&D center at Atlanta, Georgia, and San Jose, California. HDMI technology powers the global ecosystem of connected devices, enabling advanced displays that deliver immersive visuals and sound across entertainment, professional, and everyday applications. As the preferred technology for digital AV connectivity, HDMI technology and the features and benefits it enables links billions of products worldwide from HDTVs, set-top boxes, and laptops to gaming consoles, projectors, and audio-video receivers. It provides the reliable, high-bandwidth connectivity needed for today's ultra-high-definition video, lifelike color accuracy, and immersive sound formats. HDMI technology drives innovation across industries, including digital signage, medical imaging, education, and esports. With unmatched performance, interoperability, and scalability, HDMI technology continues to define how content is created, shared, and enjoyed around the world.